You know what? I don't have time to edit all kinds of fonts and everything. And I think talking at this point is going quite well. So I'm going to do it. And also ask my surgeon if I'm okay to talk. So good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nürburgring. Today, as already said, we're written. Uh, it's exactly a week ago that I had my double jaw surgery. And I wanted to give a couple of reviews, experiences that I and the things that have been going through over the last seven days. But first of all, I want to say massive thank you to all of you guys who sent me literally thousands of positive messages, supportive messages to get me through all of this. And I also want to say to many people who told me like to take it easy, to not rush my recovery. Worry not. I'm not rushing anything. I'm consulting my doctor all the time and Adrian and everyone at Apex can confirm that I'm still sleeping more during the day than actually working. So whenever my body says you need rest, I'm taking it easy, I'm not doing anything crazy. But actually the recovery has been quite, quite significantly positive and I want to share with you. So first of all, what did start? First of all, what actually happened? Uh, I had a double jaw surgery where they repositioned both of, both of my jaws, where they cut off the bottom part, cut off the top par part, the top went to the front, to the bottom and to the right, and the back one went, or the lower one went to the back and to the left. I'm sure that from the side you can see it even better, how much forward it is. And actually from the front, you see how much it's forward and to the side. So it's asymmetrical face. And already now, a week later, the swelling has reduced. I think you can see quite a big difference. My, no my mouth will stay... Porsche experience currently happening. My mouth will stay wired shut for another week. And after that, it will be still wired shut, but with lesser uh, wires or elastic, so to say. So a week ago, I went to the hospital in Neuwied. The room is better than some hotels I've visited. Honestly, better than some hotels. The surgery was scheduled at uh, immediately at eight o'clock in the morning. So at seven, I arrived there and went on the bed. They sent me to anesthesia. I passed out and woke up with, well, with a new face, so to say, and a new life. The first thing I remember waking up actually uh, is um, a nurse asking me if I am the, uh, making videos about an evergreen and I said yes and I said well not today I'm like <laughs> okay <laughs> but maybe it was just side effect of anesthesia now actually literally one of the first things was asking me the doctors to give me my phone so I could send the message to my loved ones about how that everything went well and actually I made an Instagram and Facebook post to which many of you have seen and replied I actually kept a diary so I can tell you what was happening together with the footage the b-roll so to say the first day was I wouldn't say rough or tough but of course you just had your face shifted it was kind of rough but I remember that my throat was hurting more from the tube uh, that was used to keep myself breathing during the surgery itself. Um, and I was started to lose feeling in the lips and my face started to swell up more, etc. And uh, the most significant thing I had like drains from the back of my head coming out. So uh, it would reduce the swelling. So they were kind of uncomfortable. And everyone who went to this type of surgery says that the day number two and day number three as well are the worst days of your life. Luckily, for some reason, I didn't find it uncomfortable at all. Of course, I had some discomfort because of the drains and uh, other things, but it was not that bad at all. Most significantly, I will get to that point later on, is I had no pain whatsoever from the very start, up until now even. So that's a very good positive thing. Now, on the day two, I was already checked up by the doctor and uh, the doctor said, you know what, if you want to, you can go home tomorrow, to which I say, absolutely. So on the following day, on the day number three, uh, so to say, on Friday, they removed the drains, they removed the, the tube up, uh, out of my nose, which was used to, um, uh, to feed myself because I couldn't eat. So the, the tube was used to actually put uh, food straight into the stomach through my nose, which was not the best uh, situation. Hello, Pancake. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. No worries. Yeah. 
That's so good when you have uh, so, so many caring friends who uh, take care of uh, doggy sitting duties um, for you. But yeah, the tube was removed, which was uh, was not that horrible, but was definitely the best feeling in the world. So I would say, where for many people, day number three was the most horrible one. For me, it was the best one because I could go home. Robert picked me up uh, and from the day number three and four, I don't remember much or any discomfort. It was for me more like, oh my God, I'm at home. I don't have the tubes hanging out of me. It's great. And everything went actually really quite fast regarding the recovery afterwards. Hello. Oh my God. Hello. How are you? Very good, actually. That's good to hear. Nothing again. You know, it looks like, it looks like quite much. <laughs> Before I gonna move on about the part when I moved ho when I got home, I remember the first time I actually cried was not from pain, but when I saw for the first time in my life my front teeth go over my lower teeth, having a normal bite like like it should be, and not having this massive cross over bite that I had. So those are like first tears and actually tears of happiness, which was great. Now moving on to going home. As mentioned, in the hospital, I was getting my feeding through the nose and many people have asked, how are you eating when you have your mouth wired shut? Well, liquid food. That's something that I mentioned in many videos ago. I needed a blender. I luckily bought one and it's working great. So you can blend turkey, rice together with milk and yogurt and you have actually very good, very nutritious smoothie because weight loss is a very important thing when you go through these surgeries. A lot of people resolve to eating only soups and you just only have water with some nutrients but not the typical stuff that you usually be getting. And the problem with that is they say I, I may lose on average about 10 kilos. And for me who's been working hard a lot in the last year, years to actually get in shape, uh, it was a big no-no. Uh, so a big part of my daily routine consists out of eating a lot and also drinking protein shakes. And I have gotten the weight loss under control. In the hospital I lost two kilos and then followed by roughly half a kilo later on. So three and now it's been stable ever since, which is actually quite good. So yeah, liquid food and talking, now it's going quite well. As you can see, swelling is reduced as well and everything is going quite well. Now, the most important thing is that on Monday, on day number six, after the surgery, I had an appointment with the surgeon. Day six, going to the surgeon for the checkup. Excited. Woo! He's excited to go to the surgeon. <laughs> yeah. <Woo. laughs> I always still had some concerns in the back of my mind, like hmm, maybe something is not exactly straight or maybe they have to redo or something. There is always a chance of minor fuck up, you could say. Uh, but once the surgeon saw the pictures from the x-ray. Wunderbar. Ne? Das sind jetzt die Platten im Mund. Okay. He was absolutely over the moon. He said it's absolutely great, it looks great, it's fabulous, it's fantastic. And I'm like, thank God. So everything is good there. I also had a like massive list of questions to the surgeon, like when I'm allowed to exercise, when I'm allowed to blow my nose, when I'm allowed to eat hot food, when I'm allowed to do this, that, am I allowed to talk, when can we do that, 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 that. So uh, again, I'm not rushing my recovery, but things are going great. Uh, for example, yesterday, one of my biggest concerns was, is when will I be able to put helmet on so I can drive again? When will the swelling be not bad enough or pain? And actually yesterday I could put helmet on, there was no issue and as mentioned no pain. Now speaking of no pain, I asked the surgeon like, hey, I haven't had any pain. Whereas usually people complain that they are dying from pain. It's the worst days of their lives. Is this okay? Is this normal? To which he said in your case, yes, because you're a sporty type. Since you're athletic, your pain tolerance is completely different. It's a lot higher than uh, from anyone normal. And in addition, your body knows how to recover because when you work out, you're basically damaging your muscle fibers, that, which need to recover to grow. And that's how you get muscle mass. Um, so working out has significantly helped not only to get in shape, but also prepare myself for this, which is good. So workout is very good for you. In addition, I also started to drink normally, not through a straw. Before that, it would take me like 15 minutes to drink through like a glass through a straw, which was just like, I wouldn't say time waste, but it was a time waste. And now I can just like drink normally, which is which is really good. It, uh, it saves a lot of time. So the progress is going very good, uh, very well. 
um, now we just wait and see. Now speaking of the helmet, I'm not gonna go drive on track for another month or let's say three weeks because I don't want to have any like high g-forces or go over the curb stones and stress too much my jaw too much. So don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, next week in a, on Tuesday I'll have the next checkup where they're gonna remove some of the stitchings and change those stiff elastics for a less um less stiff ones so i can actually remove them and brush my teeth speaking of brushing teeth yeah uh, at this point i can only brush the front as it goes and also floss them with a water flosser the first time i did it when i came back home it was actually on monday when the doctor said i could do it it was the best feeling in the world as well as taking a shower without any tubes attached to it or anything so yeah i guess that's pretty much it what i wanted to share with you everything is going well and nice again thank you very much for all your positive messages um yeah and uh, we still have plenty of content that we'd like to share with you tomorrow i want to share a lap with carrera gt <laughs> Once the treatment is finished and uh, I regained my full like speech and everything and uh, everything, we'll make a more detailed video about why, how, etc, etc. So you can already ask some more questions that we can incorporate later in the video and I'll also answer them in the questions below. And if I still have your attention, give me a follow on Instagram. We hit 90k yesterday, so it would be nice to hit 100k soon. Give me a follow on TikTok so we can hit 10k at some point and um, yeah that's pretty much it again thank you very much for your support it really means the word to me um world pronunciation going well one final thing um not everything has been going completely great um so because i had a tube through my nose and because you have the swelling they gave me a nose spray to use to be able to breathe somewhat the issue with that is that I continued using it all the time until yesterday was not helping anymore, but actually making things worse. And then I realized, Misha, you idiot. So no spray has done now kind of damage to my nose, not irreversible, but I need to stop using it so it can regenerate. So that's why my nose is completely clogged at this point and it's difficultly breathing and talking. So that's not my the way how I'm gonna be sounding uh, eventually at the end. So um, this is like a small battle I'll need to find out in the next two days. I guess that's pretty much it when it comes to update. And so we fixed my face. Next thing we need to fix the freaking posture. So if you're watching this video, straight go sit straight like I do. Thanks for watching. See you next time in tomorrow's video. Bye bye.